Hey guys, John here with sandblastingmachines.com. Today I want to address a question that we get here quite often. How much air do I need to run my blast pod? So what we did is we built a tool. We basically took the chart that we all traditionally know, the static chart, and we created a tool with it. This could tell you a lot of different things. It could tell you how much abrasive you're gonna go through in an hour. It could tell you what kind of pressures you could blast at, what size nozzles you could use. So it's a really handy tool. Depending on how you use it, you're gonna get different answers as, as to what you may be looking for. Um, so we're really excited about this. We wanna show you guys how to use it. And uh, we're gonna jump right in right now. No matter which page you're on on our website, it could be the home page, it could be the product page, it could be a category page. Just underneath the search bar, you'll see what size compressor do I need. Now that's a, an easy link that we created there to take you right over to the page where this tool lives. When you get to the page, you're gonna see the chart that looks like the traditional static chart that we always had. We jump into the chart, you're gonna see I have three questions on the left. The first one being, what is your nozzle orifice size? So if you know your nozzle orifice size, and in this example, we're gonna drop down and click on the number four. So if you hit the arrow down on the right, and then we're gonna hit submit. So when we hit submit, you're gonna see the left side number four, just to the right of that, all those columns turn a yellow color. Uh, so what that is telling us with a number four nozzle, at 50 PSI, which is your minimum to run a blast machine, you're gonna need 47 cubic feet a minute. So there's your answer for your, for your compressor. You're gonna need a compressor that puts out 47 cubic feet a minute, or if you look at the very bottom, uh, number 11 on the bottom left, that's gonna be the minimum horsepower requirement for that air compressor. So minimum 50 PSI, 47 CFMs, or an 11 horsepower air compressor. If we go all the way over to the right of that column, you're gonna see 110 in the top right. Well, that's your 110 CFM. So what this is telling me is at 140 PSI, you need 110 CFMs or a 25 horsepower air compressor. So that's an easy way of identifying what size compressor you need, knowing that you know your nozzle orifice. So at a minimum, you need to know that nozzle orifice size. You gotta remember, you're not only pressurizing the blast pot, you're pressurizing the blast pot, but you're also letting air out at the same time. So you've got to maintain pressure. So you're not just pressurizing and letting go, you're pressurizing, maintaining pressure, and you want to maintain 140 PSI, well, you're going to need 110 CFM. So that's kind of how that works. Now, there's other ways uh, to get to some answers. Hey, John, I, I, I have my blast set up and I, I like to blast at 100 PSI. What kind of nozzle could I use? What size CFM do you have? How much CFMs do you have? And a lot of guys don't know that. So what I will say is, well, tell me the pressure. You said 100 PSI. So if we go over to what is your pressure, hit the drop down arrow on the right and go down to 100. Click submit and you will see, well, at 100 PSI, first column number two, if you have a number two nozzle, you're gonna need a five horsepower compressor putting out 20 CFM. So now let's go to the other extreme and we scroll all the way to the bottom and, and you're looking at a number 12 nozzle. So now we're, now our orifice size got a lot bigger, our volume's gonna get a lot bigger, our compressor size is gonna get a lot bigger. The top of that column in the number 12, you're seeing 784 CFM, 784 cubic feet a minute. Um, and that is calling for 174 and a half horsepower air compressor. So that's a big compressor. But this is just an example of you saying, I like to blast at 100 PSI, what nozzle can I use? Well, this is showing you everything in between, all the, all the nozzles that you're able to use and what your requirements are gonna be. So the next step to this question is gonna be, go look on your air compressor, see what kind of CFMs you have and match it up. Um, we'll go back to the number four example again. Um, let's just say you went and checked your air compressor and you're saying, oh, John, I got a, an air compressor puts out 125 CFMs. Well, by looking at that chart, we say, okay, at 100 PSI, you only need 81, so you're good. So that, that compressor and that uh, nozzle will match up and they'll, they'll work perfectly together. So that answers that. Okay, and last, uh, a lot of times people may call in and they know their air compressor size or their cubic feet a minute. So they, they have some of the information, but they wanna say, hey, uh, what nozzle can I use with this air compressor? So that's where this last question comes in, what is your CFM? So let's just use for an example, a 185 CFM air compressor is very popular. I get that one a lot. What you're gonna do is go ahead down to what is your CFM and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna notice I don't have 185 CFM because that's not what's on the chart, but 188 CFM is. So let's just go ahead and click 188 CFM and we're gonna click submit. And you're gonna see within the chart, the highlights are gonna show a number two, number three, number four, or number five nozzle uh, can be used with that air compressor. And again, it's gonna show that 
that compressor will work all the way out to 140 PSI. Uh, so you're gonna get full range of the machine. Most of them are rated out to 150 PSI. So um, that's it guys. That's really, that's our tool in a nutshell. It, it's, it's really uh, comprehensive. There's a lot more information in there. Like I said, you can get your abrasive uh, consumption in an hour. How many pounds of media you think you're gonna go through an hour, your, your CFM requirements, your horsepower requirements. So again, it's a, it's a really great tool, but to answer the question we get the most, it is, what size air compressor do I need? So if you know one or two things about your setup, we should be able to get you to uh, what size air compressor you need. Uh, but that answers that. If uh, you have any questions, always feel free to hit us up on our chat. Uh, you can reach us on our 800 number, or you can just drop us a, an email. And uh, most of the times I'm the one answering a question, so I'm more than happy to help. As always, guys, I'm John, and thanks for watching.